Hello YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to do a video on a pair of Lucchese Rio uh, cowboy boots that I just received. I'm part of a uh, group on Facebook, uh, a Lucchese enthusiast group, and every now and then you come across something special. Uh, I got my Lucchese rattlesnakes from there. Uh, if y'all listened to the video, that was probably I think that was my first pair of used um, boots that I bought. And uh, the reason for it is because they, they're very hard to find. Uh, rattlesnakes are very hard to come by now. Uh, and so a lot of used boots I don't, uh, I don't concern myself with. Uh, but then a couple days ago, a lady posted on there that she had some giant gator uh boots for sale and that she bought them for her husband and he wore them uh around the house for an hour or so and then took them off uh they didn't fit them uh and that she was selling them for under 500 dollars asked 500 i got them for a little under 500 um and they normally retail for 995 dollars um so it's an amazing deal uh, if they were uh, close to brand new boots. And they are. Uh, these boots are, I'd be surprised if he wore them for a full hour. Uh, they still smell uh, tremendous leather, uh, everything, uh, brand just like brand new boots. Uh, brand new boots that I got for half price. Uh, and they're amazing because uh, a giant alligator, uh, they're hard to come by as well. Uh, they still sell them, but they're, you won't get them for less than a grand uh, to where you can get Caymans for 750, you know, 800. So the gators are a little bit more expensive. Uh, and if you know anything about the uh, Lucchese Rios, they are, wild caught gator uh the hides the leather used on them are uh wild alligators that's uh, you know been in the wild for decades and uh and and that's the leather they use for these boots and it shows i mean there are scars in the hides uh it makes for amazingly unique uh, pair of boots. Outstanding uh, leather on. And, um, and the Rios, uh, they're, they're, they're perfect for what I look for in a boot. Uh, it's got a one and a half inch heel, uh, which is Lucchese's uh, number three, I believe. And they come with the seven toe. Uh, seven toe is uh, absolutely my favorite toe on a boot. Uh, they, they look amazing. And I'll tell you, uh, quite often I like styling of uh, a blackjack boot probably a little better than Lucchese's. The way they do the shafts and the cording and stuff on a blackjack boot, uh, it, it's just a little sexier to me. Uh, fits more my style. But if you've watched my early, earlier videos, uh, man, there's nothing uh, like the comfort of a Lucchese boot that fits you well. Uh, these things, like I said, are brand new. Uh, still stiff uh and i slid them right on and they fit like a glove uh we're requiring no break-in period uh i walked around in them for a few minutes and they feel like my older new cases uh amazing amazing fit on them um and so we'll get into the boot talk about the boot a little bit 
So like I said, it's a number three heel. It's a one and a five, uh, 1.5 inch heel. It has the seven toe. Amazing uh, looking toe. Um, not quite a five, not quite a snip. I don't like the, the, the toes that are too pointy. Uh, these uh, rattlesnakes I have, I think have a five toe on them. Uh, and while I love the rattlesnakes, the toe is just a little more pointy than what I like. Uh, that is ideal. So it's got the seven toe on it. It's amazing. Uh, uh, single stitch um, on the sole. It's got all the, uh, everything is, is hidden uh, in here. So you won't see anything uh, in the sole. As far as lemon wood pegs or nails, uh, all that stuff is, is hidden in the way that they're crafted. Uh, moving up to the uh, actual leather on the on the boot, we've already discussed this, but th this giant gator is amazing. Uh, it feels really nice, really durable. Uh, like I said, you can see the scars and stuff on it because uh, it came off of a a real animal that was uh, living in the wild for quite some time. Uh, and these giant uh, gator prints are very distinctive in comparison to say uh, the caiman. Most people uh, buy caimans, they're much more uh, common boot. Uh, they're a little cheaper uh, and caimans look amazing. I love caiman. Uh, to be honest, if I had to pick uh, Cayman uh, against Giant Alligator, uh, Cayman's just an amazing looking uh, boot and I, I love them. But I have three or four pair of Cayman and I've uh, wanted some uh, Alligator and these make the perfect addition to my collection. So I love the leather on these. Uh, the color is probably a little uh, more red than what I would buy if I bought it myself from the store. Uh, I would go with a, a light black cherry, but I like it to be a darker, uh, more black than red. Uh, but I mean, these look amazing uh, for the half price. Uh, I definitely came out on top. Um, and then as you move up into the, the shaft of the boot, uh, Lou Casey's done some pretty elaborate stitching uh, in the design on that. And it looks great. The leather on the shaft is very nice. And as you can see on the inside, leather lined, leather sole, uh, all traditionally made. It is An outstanding boot. So yeah, I mean, I, I would, I would definitely say they're worth uh, the thousand dollars that, that they cost. Uh, these boots will last you a lifetime if you take care of them. Uh, course they would need to be resold occasionally uh, depending on the amount of wear you put in them but they uh, these things are amazing I view boots like this as heirloom items I mean, you've probably heard me say it before uh, things that could be passed down to your sons uh, so yeah thanks for watching